In 2007, Hood Canal steelhead were put on the endangered species threatened list. From tens of thousands, their annual runs had dropped to just hundreds. They were going extinct. Hood Canal's watersheds still have a lot of healthy habitat. This means that steelhead should have a good chance of surviving in the wild if we can bring them back in sustainable numbers. Raising fish in hatcheries is an effective way to increase the number of young fish in a system. But we've learned that long-term hatchery production weakens the genetics of the population and could still spell the end of Hood Canal's wild steelhead runs. Genetic diversity is vital for populations to adapt to changing environments and especially critical in the face of climate change. The challenge was to give steelhead numbers an immediate boost to stop their slide to extinction while preserving natural selection and protecting their genetic diversity. Solving an ecological problem of this size takes collaborative effort. The Hood Canal Steelhead Project brought together partners from across the basin. Long Live the Kings, the Hood Canal Salmon Enhancement Group, NOAA Fisheries, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, U.S. Forest Service, the Skokomish and Port Gamble Sklalem Tribes, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, Hamahama Oyster Company, and Tacoma Public Utilities and the Lilliwatt Falls Generating Company. Working together, we set out to study whether hatchery supplementation could increase the abundance of wild steelhead without losing the unique adaptations of this population. In traditional hatchery programs, adult steelhead are collected and spawned artificially and their offspring are released a year later. In the Hood Canal Steelhead Project, we collected eggs from red spawned in the wild, allowing for natural selection. After the eggs hatch, the young fish are reared here at Long Live the King's Hatchery for two years before being released. Some steelhead are also reared until they're four years old and released when they're ready to spawn. In each treatment river, we did this over just two generations to keep the impacts on genetics and life history as low as possible. To find out whether this technique works, we released supplemental fish in three Hood Canal rivers and monitored steelhead populations in three other control rivers where we added no fish. 16 years later, at the end of the study, steelhead populations are several times higher in the supplemented rivers. This strategy has held off extinction. Because of this project, we've learned more than ever about steelhead life history and how hatcheries can be a tool for recovery. We've also learned that the threats to steelhead don't stop at the watershed. Once they reach saltwater, our fish have to face down the Hood Canal Bridge, predators, and conditions in a changing ocean. Our work isn't done. The Hood Canal Steelhead Project has helped keep these runs alive for now, and together we're working to solve these next challenges. We need steelhead, and they need us. We're proud of the Hood Canal Steelhead Project's success, and together we're continuing the fight for recovery, now and for generations to come. <laughs>